What is up YouTube? It's your girl Evelyn and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. You guys remember BuzzFeed, the world's best internet media company ever. <laughs> Turns out BuzzFeed also produces movies, and their latest film, One Up, is a post-Gamergate look into the hilarious world of lady gaming. Coach us. Come on, Mom. They need you. I mean, they're totally pathetic. Hey. We need to get back to the basics. Oh my god. It is cruel my core. After being kicked off her university's sexist esports team, Paris, our plucky protagonist, assembles a group of lovable losers and starts her own girls only team, which leads to all sorts of shenanigans. So, everything I've Googled about One Up claims that it's queer, but so far, the gayest thing about this movie is Ruby Rose with a buzz cut, which to be fair, is pretty damn gay. One Up gives me spicy Disney Channel original meets Pitch Perfect vibes, which honestly sounds kind of fun. So if you're in the mood for a girl-powered flick that's probably sponsored by Big Gaming, you can catch One Up July 15th on Amazon Prime. Hold your breath and count. Nope is Jordan Peele's mysterious new horror epic about the residents of an inland California gulch who began experiencing strange events. Now, if you're anything like me, you've never heard the word gulch before in your life. And that's okay. Allegedly, a gulch is a deep V-shaped valley formed by erosion. And while it usually stays pretty dry, an intense rainfall could cause it to catastrophically flood. That's suspicious. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen in the movie. But need I remind everyone of the literary principle Evelyn's Gulch. If you show me a gulch, then make me look up the word gulch, you damn well better flood that mother also, there's a cute queer. Oh, hey, ladies, ladies, how y'all doing? Hey. I have to shout out my girl, real life queer Kiki Palmer, for playing a gay main character in what just might be the biggest film of the year. I said what I said. I've already reserved my IMAX ticket for Nope, and I will be there at 11 a.m. on July 22nd to find out what this movie is even about. I told you. As you guys know, I love Harley Quinn. It is literally my favorite thing on HBO. And after a two year break, it's finally back with a third season. You always go the extra mile for me. I'm your best friend. You are my best friend. Oh, sh the season three trailer for Harley Quinn is a lot. It features an eyes wide shut style orgy, Batman possibly about to give Catwoman, Tunneling. and an update on how much sex Harley and Ivy have been having. A lot. The answer is a lot. And thanks to Kaylee Cuoco, we know that Harley and Ivy's relationship will be the main focal point of the season, which means Harley Quinn might end up being the best lesbian show of 2022. And for all you Marvel heads who are interested in the show but haven't been keeping up with the DCU, I highly recommend you check out Lady Emily's excellent video about Harley and Ivy's origin story. And after you're all caught up, you can stream the first three episodes of Harley Quinn's third season, July 28th, on HBO Max. Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. Adapted from the beloved comic of the same name, Paper Girls is a sci-fi YA adventure series set in the 1980s about four very different girls who accidentally get involved in a conflict between warring time-traveling no, factions. I can get my route finished in one piece. I got better stuff to do. The future's so bright, right? Not all of us get to live in a Jay-Z Penny catalog. All I can think about is why was that me? Why did I just attack him? You don't understand, okay? I'm not like you guys. The only thing the girls have in common is their paper route. So as they travel through time, trying to stay alive, they must learn to trust or not trust each other, as well as the future versions of themselves they run into. As someone who watched every episode of Sliders and Quantum Leap, I cannot wait to check out Paper Girls. As for the gay, at least one of the Paper Girls isn't straight, but her realization about her sexuality happens over the course of the comic. So just know there's a queer a coming. 
eventually. Paper Girls drops July 29th on Amazon Prime. Maybe I'm right and maybe I'm wrong. Thor Love and Thunder is a Marvel movie about Thor and love and thunder. Take off your disguise and flick. You flick too hard, damn it! Shall we help him? And eventually, grape. It might surprise you to learn that I've never actually watched a Thor movie, and I don't see that changing anytime soon, especially since I doubt there will be anything overtly gay about Thor Love and Thunder. As king, as new king, she needs to find her queen. So that would be... Now, I would never accuse my queen, Tessa Thompson, of queerbaiting. I believe what she said was simply wishful thinking. And she's far from the only person who wants to see Valkyrie get with, uh, this well-known MCU character. If you're a Marvel aficionado, definitely let me know what you think in the comments, and you can catch Thor Love and Thunder in theaters July 8th. I think I left my consciousness in the sixth time. Please take this next one with the biggest grain of salt possible, because I ain't shit. AMC's latest attempt to fill the soon-to-be gaping hole left by The Walking Dead, Better Call Saul, and Killing Eve is Moonhaven, a show about a utopian community built on the moon. The technology to save our world is coming. Over the last century, we have turned a corner. We are on the verge of the climate that no longer seeks to destroy us. The only reason Moonhaven is on my radar at all is because there's a two-second shot of Bella, the main character, walking through her spaceship. How you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in you. Anywho, I make no promises about this show, but feel free to check it out July 7th on AMC+. Plus. As someone who watched Pretty Little Liars as a grown-ass woman, I enjoyed the series probably too much. It was deliciously soapy, absolutely ridiculous, and I loved every silly little moment. That being said, I have no idea why anyone would think it was a good idea to make yet another version of Pretty Little Liars. Not to mention, this new version will be airing on HBO Max, a network who's had, let's just say, varying levels of success with reboots. Anywho, I clearly care way too much about a show aimed at teenagers, so feel free to ignore my old lady ranting and check out Pretty Little Liars Original Sin for yourself July 28th on HBO Max. In the 80s, Beauty tells the story of a young up-and-coming singer who's not Whitney Houston and her doomed and secret love affair with her longtime female friend who's not Robin Crawford. What you think about? The future? What's the future gonna be? Touring, photo shoots, <laughs> freedom. Beauty is obviously an unofficial Whitney Houston biopic. I'm guessing it had to be unofficial because in the past, Whitney's family has been less than accepting of her potential queerness. Would it have bothered you if your daughter, Whitney, was gay? Absolutely. It would have bothered you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you would not have liked that. Not at all. I haven't had a chance to watch Beauty just yet, but so far, the critics have not been very kind to the film. Despite the reviews, I'm still excited to watch Beauty, and it's currently available to stream on Netflix. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my Big Spender patrons, Angel, Citizen Ruth, Melissa, Mary, and Dee. <laughs> And just to let you guys know, I will be reviewing First Kill over on Patreon later this week. And my thoughts about the show just might surprise you. I'm just kidding. I think exactly what you think I'm going to think. As always, thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my shiny new second channel, Ridiculous Recaps, because one day there might even be a video on it. You sit on a throne of lies. Don't forget to let me know which show or film you're most looking forward to in July and I'll see you in the next one.